So today's class will be focusing on a topic basically in reference to relaxation. Um, the last video we were coming from a, a aspect in talking about unity and the importance of unity and how unity has been said time and time again by our master teacher Malachi Venus Zodak York, spiritually known as Bobby Yannanen, that love and unity will free him. So within that, there are several aspects within Patarak that will help us individually to grow so that we can efficiently work better towards the goal of unity, okay? So um, last week I talked about, or last video, I spoke uh, briefly about concentration, the importance of it, and its relation to unity. So this week, I will be coming out of the Patarak relaxation. Um, Relaxation basically is another component um, out of the three that I had talk, spoke about briefly, which was concentration, relaxation, and lastly, meditation. And relaxation is basically a component that is very, very necessary. Um, starting out, uh, line 18, Within Patarak basically reads Tarkak, relaxation, is simply to learn to relax. Two, what I must impart to you is Unua, the most important Tarkak, relaxation, on self control, relation, and meditation. Three, it's the key to health. Four, the importance of a healthy youth. Five, a healthy brain, body, and spirit. Six, a healthy mind, soul, and etheric being. Seven, a healthy deity being. Eight, a healthy kahim, makwan, divine being. Nine, a nawit, makwan, supreme being. I want to um, expound further along within Patarak, within this Patarak, to explain some things or some examples that's given within this Patarak that talks about how um, the that talks about the effects of certain things on the body where you're that can affect your relaxation or it can affect the way you move or exist or elevate, so to speak. Okay, so. Line number 19 and 20 reads, Nineteen, what you must always remember is, if you eat flesh that has blood in it, that was spirit, life, and it becomes a part of you. Twenty. Its spirits enter your spirits. Its fears and its aggressions become yours and visit your mind. Now, being that as it may, um, food and things that we ingest within our existence has a major effect on our being and our elevation. Okay, Food, less like um, Baba had mentioned in, within Patarak, is that blood. And any meats that you take in or ingest in is a fluid and is connected to the spirit. Okay? Blood and spirit connect. So when you're taking on that particular fluid from another uh, animal or being, um, depending on the life of that animal and what it went through, which we already know um, the slaughtering of a lot of animals in this day and time for food, they go through a lot. <laughs> It, but being that as it may, its fears, its aggressions, its nature becomes a part of you. So when Baba is explaining to us about blood meats and things of that nature, or any uh, animal that we ingest as food that has blood, it has a spirit. 
okay and you take that on and it affects your mind it affects your existence it affects your ability to be able to concentrate and relax okay so being the being that you are we're supposed to be able to have a particular amount of control within ourselves okay we're supposed to be able to find our voice within and and move according to our own existence but when we ingest not just food either it also you know comes with um intercourse and exchanging fluids and dna with other people it's still blood it's still fluid it's still dna but it becomes you it attaches to your dna their dna attaches to yours so when that happens it becomes a part of you and you begin to act out or live out those particular aggressions and they may not necessarily be yours and it affects your ability to be able to focus and concentrate and most importantly relax <laughs> because one of the things that I find interesting is that I see a lot of us not just New Wapians, but I mean we're I mean, I'm talking to New Wapians because we're building but um, with knowing what we know and understanding and understanding the spirit forces and understanding the things that Baba has taught us and continues to teach, it, to teach us, we have to understand that those things have to be heavily monitored. Now, I know it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's not an um, overnight thing. Okay, no one's, why well, don't say no one? Some people can cut certain things cold turkey and some people cannot. And some people just won't just because they don't want to. And that's fine because I'm not here to tell you what to do and what not to do. And neither is Bobby Animan. You know, he's here to simply to give you the direction. And if you choose to take the direction, then that is solely up to you. Moving forward, just, you know, understand that intake of any blood, of any being, whether you eat it or any fluids of a being that you have, relation with affects your being and it affects your ability to do a lot of things most importantly think concentrate relax so okay moving along uh, the, ne the next thing that I did want to uh, build on in within this pot to rock that affects concentration and relaxation or affects your ability to be able to relax is um, mental states okay so line number 24 through 25 reads, 24, also your mental state affects your Kahim Makwan divine being. 25, mental states such as anger, frustration, greed, hate, jealousy, lust, and outer emotions that can overpower your being by desire or by physical intakes such as foods, drugs, and alcohol. Two very important things within those two lines, okay? We do understand that anything in excess is terrible for you, okay? Um, Baba mentioned food, drugs, and alcohol, okay? Food, I mean, people are gonna have a cookie or two. I mean, we know the cookies and hot Cheetos aren't the best for us to eat. However, we're gonna eat them <laughs> from time to time. However, if you eat a cookie a day or several cookies per day or several bags of, you know, um, potato chips or hot Cheetos or whatever it is that is not sufficient for you, there is consequences major consequences to your health that you have to deal with because of that particular decision that you chose to make. Now, again, not to sound religious, but I don't think I do, <laughs> but most people would take it as sounding that way. Most Nwapians, we don't. The thing of it is, is that, you know, these are things that Baba Yanaman is directing us to do to be able to transform, elevate, exist, to the healthiest that we could possibly be. Doesn't mean, you know, if you, like I said, if you have a cookie or two or Snickers or two, doesn't mean that you're doomed to hell. Doesn't mean that. However, <laughs> understand that those things aren't sufficient to your being and it definitely lowers 
or cuts off you know parts of your etheric cord but as long as you do your best to stay healthy and do your research on things that are healthy for you as the individual then you will be fine but you know food like I said drugs and alcohol and then over to the drugs so to speak people have to take drugs for their health you know what I'm saying Tylenol with codeine codeine is another form of cocaine but people have to take it for whatever reason that they have to take it and that's you know it's thousands of medications out here that have drugs in it and things in it that is tearing you apart on the inside that would be a totally personal thing to do your research and find out what's best for you to be able to heal yourself or if you choose to stay on that particular medication that is perfectly up to you okay if not then you know there are there are ways to maneuver around things but these are things that affect your concentration it doesn't take away from that so just because you're taking it for your health and a doctor prescribes it doesn't necessarily make it good okay they're prescribing it because one they want to get paid that's just a fact um and you know if you want to be in that circle of the doctors you know <laughs> For whatever reason they're prescribing medication that is like i said it's perfectly up to you but you know you have alternatives you have options but these things affect your ability to be able to relax and concentrate so they're there you may be like i said you may be eating food you can you know if you get a cookie or two it's fine if you take medication you know what i'm saying that's for you for whatever health reason that you have it's not, you know, a natural thing, and if you have to take it for whatever reason, by all means, take it if that's what you choose to do. However, understand what it is doing, and understand that there are alternatives. You just have to do the work. Um, alcohol, okay. Um, it was times in the past, and even times in this day, where you know you have some of us who have an occasional glass of wine, and a most some. Nuwapians are crucified for it, but some are not. You know, there was a fast where wine was allowed at one point of time. However, uh, taking shots of Patron on bars at the club at 2 in the morning is not sufficient. <laughs> it's not our way, so to speak. However, if that's what you do, I don't know nothing. <laughs> but overstand that sufficient amounts of alcohol affects your being and affects your ability to be able to relax. It tears your kidneys apart. It tears your, tears your liver apart. Excess amounts of alcohol done at a certain amount of time or a sufficient amount of time or an increased amount of time causes you, your liver to just die. Your kidneys too. And you're messing around with the kidney transplant. But I'm just saying, okay? Point is, those are things that affect you. If one part of your body system is off, chances are it's going to affect another part of your body system. And it's going to be like a domino and chain effect, okay? So these are things that affect your ability to be able to relax, okay? And concentrate. Okay, um, one more thing. Towards the end of the Pots of Rock, Baba gave on, on online 121. It reads, most of the diseases of the Akal mind and body can be eliminated by following the five basic points. One, proper exercise. Two, proper breathing. Three, proper relaxation, four, proper diet with much water, five, proper positive thinking. Now, with that being said, those are five key points from the master himself that told you what to do to be able to efficiently be healthy, have a free, clear thinking mind, and to be able to elevate so to speak.
okay? And those five things, you know, and diet and, and much water was definitely in there. You know, um, for some people, it's not necessarily a cold turkey thing, but as long as you try and you're working towards that, it's sufficient enough. But understand that those things, doing them consistently and on a regular basis will help you, will help you tremendously within Wunuwapu, okay? Within Wunuwapu and within life, okay? And lastly, I did want to read lines um, to close, um, lines 22, 122 to 126. And it reads, this is the way, wait, 122. This is the way of Pa Nuwapu, the Nuwapians. 123. You must control your environment. 124. You must know whom you are with. You must know where you have been. 125. You must know where you are from. 126. You must think before you act. You must act as if you're thinking. That is healthy. So within that, yes, yeah, just you have, you are the center of the universe. You have more control of things than you think you do, especially with yourself. If we take a step back and just look at ourselves, pause and reflect and begin to fix the things within ourselves, we can efficiently work with those who are on the same alignment with us. But we're too busy focusing on somebody else and what they're doing wrong as opposed to focusing on ourselves and what we can be doing right or what we could change within ourselves. Because everyone has things that they could change or they, that they can do better with. You don't have to broadcast it. You know. You can't lie to yourself. Okay? So, you know, control your environment. You don't have to be around people who engage in specific things such as that's not sufficient to your culture and your way of life. You don't have to be around that. You can control that. You can say no. If you have friends that are inviting you to do things that you know is not sufficient, you can say no. But if you choose to engage in those things, it throws off your natural nature and your being, and you begin to vibrate on a frequency of the Mikasa, which is six ether. You know, we're trying to elevate and stay on the frequency of nine and move with that. The thing that binds us together is Nuwapu. Even though we all come from different walks of life, the one thing that binds us and keeps us sticky as Yasar is Nuwapu. So if we understand that and focus on that and fix things within ourselves so that we can move as a unit and focus on the thing that brings us together the most, that would be ideal. And that's the goal. So it with that being said, you know, relaxation is one of the key components within the three components that I had mentioned that will help us to sufficiently get to love and unity and working with, together with love and unity to help to free our master teacher. So, with that being said, that will end my class today. Um, if there are any questions, you know where to reach me, A-E-O-E -E Detroit at gmail.com. And I will towel hats and see you soon. See you next time. Why do?